My beautiful agents, today I will show you how you can farm more than 3 exotics in 15 minutes without breaking a sweat or engaging in PvP action. In a sense, today I will show you best ways how to farm exotic components to fit your goddamn playstyle. Uncle Butcher in the building with another barbecue chicken method. And first method today I want to cover is countdown. What you want to do here is to set countdown on challenging difficulty. Yes, you can farm on heroic, but challenging difficulty will be super easy, super quick. 15 minutes, easy money. Next thing what you want to do here is to apply in your targeted loot map assault rifles so you want to farm assault rifles in a countdown and since we have tons of elite bosses named enemies in countdown you will get at least two drops for sure in one run and by completing countdown you will get as well exotic cash like a weekly reward something like that so you can have two two three exotics in 15 minutes of course it depends on your rng if your rng is better than mine maybe you can get more but most of the time you will get like um, chameleon capacitor if you have bighorn sometimes you can find bighorn but it's really really rare drop i think uh, most of the time chameleon and of course uh, capacitor and exotic cash as a reward but before we continue to two other options how to farm exotics really effect effectively quick word from the sponsor diving.net if you don't have enough time or good teammates but you still want to have all the best items in your game then diving.net is set for you they have been working for many many years they have tons of customer reviews you can check everything by yourself but now with my promo code rbd or rbd you will have 15 percent discount on absolutely all services but now let's get back to best exotic component farming method next one is really really easy what you want to do here is to create new character boost it to level 30 and with this fresh newly baked character go to any dz you want invaded or normal dz it truly really depends on your preference most of them i'm going to invade the dz and you want to open all the loot boxes in landmarks if you know landmark spots then this method will be super easy the best part about this method that nobody will hunt you nobody will uh, Whole checkpoints, no man hunts, no deaths, nothing, no PvP whatsoever. You will notice that most of the agents in these uh, dark zone lobbies with low level characters actually are farming these boxes just like you do. It's super easy, super simple. Create new character, and actually, in my experience, this character gave me much more exotic component drops from these uh, loot boxes than my level 40 character. It is what it is, I don't know, my RNG is much better with low level fresh character than level 40, at least for me, so this method worked extremely well for me. Last one but not the least one is of course again, uh, you have to create new character, boost it to level 30, reach uh, White House, it will be your first objective by starting new campaign reach white house then you will be able to boost your character to level 30 once that done you have to pick one skill and after that you need to go to inaya and buy blueprints which allow you to share um, resources between your characters simple as that and why we want to do that because it will open to us possibility to share resources and complete weekly H hd uh, task project and by completing this project we can gain one exotic component it will take like five eight minutes it depends if you have all the necessary components to complete and you will gain one free exotic and what you want to do after that complete the project simply destroy component components will be shared with your other characters and delete this character and create new one 
No PvP, no landmarks, no countdown, no shooting, nothing. So if you're a lazy player and if you don't want to engage, run and do anything, this is a method for you. Create new character, reach White House, boost your character to level 30, unlock first skill, buy blueprint from Inaya and simply complete the uh, weekly project. Delete character and repeat these steps as many times as you want. If you want to do some more action without PvP, go for countdown. If you are not afraid of PvP, go in level 40 dark zones. But if you want simple DZ runs, go for fresh level 30 character DZ runs. It's simple as that. Have fun. See you in the next one.